Hi, I'm Doug Jones with Doug Knows Real Estate. And today I want to talk about preparation and financing. It's really good to buy a house. It's great to buy a house. But the thing is, is that the budget has to be in place not only today to get into the house, but it's got to be in place for always. Just got to plan. And I'll give you an example. We used to own a home right here where I'm standing, right across the street. And we had a beautiful condominium. It was three bedroom, three bath, three full baths. It was three lanai's. It had a view of the ocean right here. Uh, it was absolutely beautiful. And we owned a home right down the street in the Leahy Drive before that. And my business was going really, really well, Mortgage Magic. But our monthly expenses were $120,000 a month. And when the crash came about 2009, 2010, our income dropped to $10,000 a month. And so, you know, $10,000 coming in, $120,000 going out, we had to make some moves. And in my own personal finance, one of the things we did was we sold our home here on the island. And that made me very sad because it was the most beautiful place and we had planned on retiring here and, and we have a place in Yosemite and going back and forth between those. And I was about 50 years old and at the same time we had a grandson was born. Well, he was born with a, with a situation where it needed constant care and my wife decided to be the caretaker, the, the babysitter, if you will. And he's healthy and happy today, very healthy and happy. But um, we weren't prepared for that big of a drop in income. And uh, we probably, looking back, should have downsized quicker as soon as we saw the uh, crisis coming. We should have just done a lot of things differently. I even wanted to go bankrupt, but as a mortgage broker, it's kind of interesting. An attorney can go bankrupt, a doctor can go bankrupt. If I had gone bankrupt, I could not have run my company. That, that was one of the rules in the uh, in MLS rules. You can't have a credit ding and still run your credit. I don't know if that's the same now or not, but but I had to continue the company, had to continue my good credit, and we sold the condo that we really, really loved, so I wasn't prepared. And uh, my encouragement to you is go buy the thing you want, get the thing you want, but be overly prepared in case there's any kind of economic downturn. It could be illness, could be interest rates, could be all kinds of things. It could be an accident. But my, my encouragement to you is find a way to always be prepared because I was not prepared and I wish I had been. I'd still, be, have, I'd still have the house here in Kona. So that's my encouragement today and it's pretty good advice for real estate. Always be prepared. Have more money than you need. I'm Doug Jones, Doug Knows Real Estate.